How's it going, everybody? It's the Wombat. Hey! That light's kind of bright, isn't it? There we go. Turn it out of the way. Do I really need this? Ah, there you go. You can see me well enough. How is everybody doing? I am here in the Wombat Laboratory, I guess you'd call it, where I like to come out here, play my guitars and different things and stuff. But today I wanted to show you guys a couple things. A review of my absolute favorite guitar at the moment because it does change and also how to pick out a good instrument, a good used instrument. Okay? So, this is it right here. Isn't she gorgeous? She's absolutely gorgeous. She's a squire. I don't know why everybody says guitars are girls or boys. It, okay? It's, it is a guitar. It's a Squire Strat, the Affinity model. And I looked online to see the serial number. This is crafted in Indonesia. And this is Indonesia, China. And then the S, I'm led to believe, is Samic. And then the 1-4 is the year 2014. So this is four years old. I bought this guitar at Guitar Center for $40. That's right. $40. Four zero. You're going, what? Yeah, 40 bucks. It was used. I guess somebody didn't like the finish on it. Some people don't like Sunburst. I don't like the three-tone one, but the two-tone, which is what this is, I really like. The three-tone you might have seen where it's like blackish brown and then red and then kind of a yellowy color. This is more... I guess you'd call it tobacco sunburst. I don't think it's really a true tobacco sunburst. It just kind of has a nice brown that just it just gently fades. The other one you can see distinct rings. This is just a nice gentle subtle fade. I love this guitar because when I first saw this guitar it reminded me so much of Jimi Hendrix who is my all-time favorite guitar player. I love Randy Rhodes. I love some other guys. Jimi Hendrix is my all-time favorite and I've seen many pictures where he has a guitar just like this one uh, most of you guys might say nah he plays the white one yeah the Olympic white one at Woodstock and some of the other ones he was famous for but on a lot of albums and inside and live performances he's also playing the old uh, Rosewood and Jimi Hendrix he would just go and pull a guitar off the wall and just take it to a concert and start playing it no mods, nothing. No modifications, just a stock guitar. I have not done anything to this guitar. And it just feels so nice. It has the nice, smooth maple neck. Got the skunk stripe down the back. That's usually where they route it to put in the truss rod. As you can see right there, that little cutout right there in the middle. That's where you do adjustments if your neck is, is kind of tweaked a little bit. In order to get into sh showing you some of my more guitar, other guitars, I will show you, you know, things to do. Okay, now talking about buying a used guitar, which this one is. First thing you want to do is you want to kind of feel it. See how it feels. Feel the neck. Is the neck nice and smooth? Is there big uh, scratches in the neck? Big chunks taken out? Because sometimes if there's chunks taken out, it shows that there's like some type of abuse. Probably dropped. And then you'll want to... Kind of look down the neck, see if there's nothing out of place. Feel along the side because these metal pieces here, they're called frets. Sometimes they don't always finish them on some of the lower end guitars. This one, it feels like somebody spent the time and filed them. You can file them yourself later. It's, it is a lot of work. It's tedious. It's well worth it. But if you can find a guitar where it's already been done, <laughs> you're already miles ahead. Tuners are all good shape. They don't... You want to check out your tuners, these things here, your tuning pegs, and just kind of give them a wiggle and make sure they're not loose. Sometimes you'll find out they're worn and they're loose, and then your guitar will not stay in tune. These ones, they're held in by a nut here. Sometimes they have screws on the back, and then they also have screws on the top for tightening the actual knob onto the tuning post itself. Look at your nut, this part here. It's called a nut. Make sure there's no edges broken off. Make sure it's 
seat it in there and also look because sometimes you can see there will be gaps in the wood between the nut this one's nice and tight and then you want to check to see how the strings are sitting on the guitar and you can see that that's pretty the neck is pretty flat strings have a little bit of what they call action which is your height between how far the string is to where it goes up and down and you know this guitar plays so nice and then you know strum on it a little bit see how it sounds not plugged in yet just you can usually get a, an idea of what a guitar is going to sound like before you even plug in sometimes you'll sit down <coughs> you'll sit you'll sit down and you'll play it and you'll strum through a few chords and and play a little bit of stuff get a feel for it you can kind of tell what kind of tonal characteristic the guitar itself is going to have pickups do make a huge amount of difference you can make modifications change those out later as it goes but you kind of want to get a feel of what the guitar is going to sound like overall before you do anything you know sometimes you'll see a really nice guitar it might be I'll just pick like mid-range like about three to five hundred dollars because there's some that are a lot more some that are, aren't quite as expensive you'll check those out and you go okay it looks nice then you play it and it's just a dog it just it notes spread out which means you go to play a note it doesn't say it, it buzzes or it clanks or just it doesn't sound good it doesn't feel good when you hold it against you it just feels awkward and everything a good example of that is for me at least was the Jackson's Randy Rhodes V again I love Randy Rhodes he's awesome I cannot play anything like him I saw one of those I wanted it so bad so in a guitar center it was about 300 bucks used usually they're like quite a bit more brand new played it and it just it just didn't feel right to me so put it back up on the wall you never know you might find some really killer deals you might find some guitars that you might have to save up a little bit a lot of shops do allow you to put stuff on layaway and make time payments or they also offer credit sometimes which can be dangerous so watch out for that but like I said this is just such a beautiful guitar it's it has the five-way selector switch the switch switches between your pickups here all the way forward is this one second position is these two together and then in the middle is just this one and then these two together and then this one that goes neck because this is the neck it's close to the neck middle and bridge because this is your bridge here this is a tremolo guitar the only thing about the tremolo guitars at least i found for my own self is i tend to knock them out of tune and if you ever listen to any recordings of Jimi hendrix he'll usually just play like crazy and then as soon as the song's done he'll talk a little bit and then you hear him doing the tuning song and i'll play a little bit of that it usually goes excuse us a minute folks while we tune up and he's like and he'll keep talking as he's tuning see I knocked it out of tune earlier Usually you can tell if it's out of tune because the notes kind of waver a little bit. When they stop wavering, that's when they're in tune. Like that. There we go. Much better, much better.
But see, it sounds. I, I really love the way this guitar sounds. It sounds so nice. So nice. It's just like. I'm not going to play the rest of that song because I'm already butchering up the beginning of it. But anyways, as you can see, this is a beautiful guitar. The only thing I did was I polished it up with some Dunlop 65 guitar polish, cleaned the neck, put some nice strings on here. These are Diodarios. And these are 10s. I believe I have it tuned to E flat. So if you hear it and you put pull out your guitar and you have it in standard, you'll see I'm a little down a little bit. It's all good. A lot of people play in E flat tuning, which is just half a step down from standard. I'll talk about that more later. But just wanted to show off this guitar. And as you're looking, you know, you you'll go through the you play like a note chord, run your selector. Try the knobs, make sure there's no static in them, make sure they don't hang up, make sure they turn smoothly. This guitar has one volume, two tone knobs, and again, like I said, the pickup selector switch. Some other guitars you're going to see, they'll be a different shape. Almost, I'd say probably about 80% of the guitars you're going to see are going to have this classic Stratocaster type shape designed by Fender and a lot of people copied it because it's so nice. It has this thing here. I don't know if you can kind of, yeah you can kind of tell. It has a relief cut that's called a belly cut because it sits against your belly and it hugs you and it just it just feels so comfortable. Whether you're sitting down, standing up, it just makes the playing of it that much more enjoyable. If you play guitar, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're starting out, hopefully this will encourage you guys to get started. If you've always wanted to play guitar, but you're thinking you're too young, too old, don't have enough cash, whatever, again, I get this for 40 bucks. Do some looking, go on Craigslist, mow some yards, take on some side work, recycle cans, do whatever you can to support that. And, you know, I'm not saying you out there have to step out and, and buy a guitar that might not be your thing there's lots of things that people are passionate about so whatever you happen to be passionate about go out there and get it done <laughs> have fun doing it this is me dave the wombat have a great one see i'm representing the ramones johnny joey dd tommy see all that let's see Anyways, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to play a little bit. Because I haven't played for a while, so as you can tell... I'm going to have fun. I'll see you guys later. Bye!